I definitely recommend studying it abroad to anybody. It's um, truly a unique, one-of-a-kind experience. Because history is about people. It's not something dry and dusty between the pages of a book. It's about people. It's about real people in real situations. The British culture is very similar to ours. We see many of the similarities, but we also see some contrasts. And learning those contrasts and participating in a different world um, is, a, is a process that our students gain from. Wow, you can do that. I've always wanted to live in a castle. I've always wanted to live in England. If you are even considering it, do it. Make it, make it what you want to do, make it a goal, and do it. Uh, not only living, but learning in a castle in northern England. This experience is, is a life-changing experience. I'm Wade Sherman, the resident director for St. Cloud State University's program here at Annick Castle, here in England. The Annick program is, a, uh, in essence, a branch campus of St. Cloud State University. They take their classes here, their food service is here, their accommodations are here, and they really become quite the community of students and a scholarly community as not only do the staff uh, live on site, but so do the faculty that are able to come and teach and work with the students during their time here. Studying abroad with St. Cloud State was a unique experience for me because I am from a different university. I asked if it was possible if someone from a different university could study abroad with St. Cloud State and they said other people have done it before so I was glad to hear that. I liked the fact that I'd be living in a castle, that was very exciting. We share it with up to 300,000 visitors a year that come to see the Annick Gardens and to Annick Castle as a part of the northeast of England. My name is Christine Mitchell. My role in the Annick program is to teach the British history courses. The field trips are, I think, a, a, a vitally important part of the students' experience here. They've come here to study uh, British culture. And in the course of the field trip, they see um, aspects of contemporary Britain as well as aspects of historical Britain. And I think it is uh, the variety that they experience in the course of the field trips that helps them build up a picture of uh, British culture. There's a wide variety in the field trips. It wasn't like you were going to the same place every Friday. London is so big, you could spend a month there and not see it all. There are so many fantastic field trips that we get to go on. While we're here, we get to go to London, which was absolutely amazing. You, you go through the contemporary written class and you learn all about um, Parliament and you know the House of Lords and the House of Commons and how everything operates and then you get there and you actually get to see it firsthand and it's just, it blows your mind. <laughs> My name is Maureen Fortune and I'm from Annick Town itself. One of the activities I do with them as part of uh, teaching the students about our marine ecology is we go for a walk from Low Newton to Crass to a distance of about three and a half miles. And during this time, we go rock pooling. And we look in there to look at the seaweeds and the animals and the relationships between them. So the students have a better understanding of what goes on on the shore. I found it really interesting to see how excited some of them become when they find it, especially things like crabs and hermit crabs, that sort of thing. Jamie found it, I he grabbed it. it. <laughs> this is a, a group experience that the students have here, but for all of them, I think and I sincerely hope that it will be an experience which remains with them for the rest of their lives. So overall, studying abroad with St. Cloud State University has been an amazing experience for me and I definitely would recommend it to anyone else who's considering studying abroad.